So in this video, someone who fights professionally, like in the UFC, is going to tell you guys what martial arts you need to be able to defend yourself if that situation arises. This guy is an incredibly rounded fighter, and uh, he's just a great fighter overall. There's a little bit of a miscommunication while shooting this regarding like timing and how long the uh, podcast was for. So it's a little bit shorter than normal, but that being said, we're probably going to have a part two that's like the actual length of the... Uh, of my regular podcast right so it's gonna be anywhere from like 30 minutes to under an hour now that being said you guys get to watch this see what he thinks of using martial arts for self-defense and which martial art works the best to be able to defend yourself if that situation arises now that being said i always say avoid that situation at all costs there's so many factors like weapons and multiple opponents force factors stuff like that now avoid it if you can but if you can't these are the martial arts you need and some other stuff how to join the ufc enjoy and yeah, no, i uh been fighting for a long time won the uh... Tough 27, the ultimate fighter, and uh, just current featherweight in the UFC. What are some of the like the biggest mistakes you've seen like for people trying to get in the UFC? Probably missed opportunities. That's it. You know, any anything that comes your way, any opportunity for fighting a big promotion or anything like that, just to get your name out there, take it. I mean, that's what I did. I didn't, I didn't uh, waste any time. Anything that came my way, I just ran with it. So yeah. Regardless, like, I obviously mentioned, like, if people will have, like, knives and guns and stuff, so you want to avoid that. But, like, what would you recommend if it was just, like, hand-to-hand self-defense? Honestly, just kickboxing and jiu-jitsu, man. Because kickboxing teaches you how to stand up and defend punches and kicks at standing. And then a fight on the street always ends up on the ground, so you got to know how to handle yourself on the ground. So yeah. you should be able to have a solid uh, takedown defense and... And be able to do takedowns. So you gotta know some wrestling. But uh, once you get to the ground, or let's say you end up on your back, you gotta know some jujitsu as well. At least to just stop the person, hold them, so you can get help or be able to get out of the situation altogether. So like, I wouldn't even just pick one style, man. You gotta do everything. That's true. You gotta you gotta do everything. That's what it is, and that's how the game is evolving. You know, it like when the game first started, early, early, like the original UFC events these guys were coming in one-sided. Like, one guy was just straight wrestling, had no idea how to throw a punch. Another guy, all he did was punch, right? He was a boxer. Yeah. That's it. He didn't know how to defend takedowns, you know? Then, you know, everybody had one style. Now you look at the UFC, and everyone is good everywhere. And that you want to evolve and be able to hold your own at a high level, not necessarily on the street. On the street, it's one thing, but against other professional fighters, you got to be able to do everything and uh, just – sticking to one or the other or choosing one or the other based on a combination you think is best you know honestly i think you just train everything because yeah. you never know you never know but just follow me on uh on instagram twitter the, at the lone wolf mma and then on facebook mike the lone wolf Trezano, and uh just stay tuned for updates hope to be fighting soon all right thank you michael have a good one man. yeah appreciate it man have a good one